we are going to talk more about this when we get to pregnancy and development, but I wanted to bring it up here um, just briefly. Um, the maintenance of pregnancy, um, remember that it is the lining of the uterus called the endometrium that has to be maintained in order for the embryo not to um, come out with the menstrual blood. So when we look at the pregnancy, it is actually dependent upon a hormone that is produced by the embryo. So the embryo must produce sufficient amounts of what you might've heard of before, amounts of HCG. So HCG is human chorionic, because that's the part of the embryo that's producing it, chorionic gonadotropin. Oops, I did not put the nado in there. Gonadotropin. So the embryo essentially has to prove that it is viable. Otherwise, we might have a, an embryo that implants and then dies, and then you're kind of left with this embryo and you could, I guess you could reabsorb it. Maybe that happens sometimes. If you don't get rid of it though, it could be a problem. So um, the HCG um, is actually kind of like a, a test. The embryo has got to prove itself worthy of being maintained as um, in the pregnancy. So this is actually the hormone that is measured in um, over-the-counter pregnancy tests. So there's so much hormone that it ends up in the maternal circulation, right? And then the female urinates it out onto a test strip, and then it binds to a chemical like an antibody that detects the presence of HCG, and then the female knows that she's pregnant. So what does HCG do specifically? It maintains, so this hormone maintains the corpus luteum. Okay. If it is not present, the corpus luteum will degenerate. The corpus luteum maintains the uterine lining. It does so by producing estrogen and progesterone. And so um, eventually this is, the placenta is gonna take this job over, but this is early on during embryonic development when the embryo just implants first and there is no placenta yet. Okay, so if the corpus luteum is not maintained, menstruation will occur. So in our Zoom recitation, or our Zoom class, we talked about the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle and how at the very end of the uterine cycle, if the lining is not needed, or if there's no viable embryo implanted, then it, um, the, the endometrium dies, essentially, the functional layer of it dies, and it's sloughed off, and that is when menstruation occurs. So let's look at that uterine cycle. Okay, so this is the menstrual phase starting off here. This would be the proliferative phase. Usually ovulation might is interestingly in humans, ovulation is hidden, but it's generally like 14 days. Um, and then most women have a, about a 28 day cycle. So this is the, this is maintained, the lining of the uterus is maintained because of the corpus luteum that is in the ovary. So let's look at that corpus luteum in the ovary, have a diagram of it. Oops, I thought I did. Here we go. So the corpus luteum in the ovary 
If it degenerates, then it is going to stop producing estrogen and progesterone. So estrogen and progesterone levels are gonna fall off here. And um, what happens if pregnancy is maintained is, is that the uh, placenta takes over producing estrogen. So the placenta has lots of estrogen um, and produces progesterone and it helps to maintain the lining. So the, the uterus, uterine cycle is maintained by what is happening in the ovary, the ovarian hormones. And then that, um, that drop in those hormones leads to the shedding of the uterine lining. 